This video is going to show you how to upload data into the Flux model and how to save your work so that you do not have to start from the beginning whenever you're using the same data set. We're going to use uh, Flux version 3.37 to do this. You open, double click on Flux and then say OK and bring up this window. We're going to read the data. We're not using a station index file as I mentioned in class. We're going to just be reading from an Excel file and um, we will be reading both the flow data and the sample data from the same Excel file. Let's go here, new sample and flow data, new stratification. Both data files, the flow data file and the sample data file, are all contained in a single Excel file. So it's asking for two input files. We'll be reading the same Excel file twice. We need to first find the file. It's under my data for, in my files for 2014. The name of the file is Poplar River Flow and TSS New. That's the flow file. And we need to collect the information for the sample file. In the same directory, it's the same file. And we read that. So now it's reading the, it has just read the uh, uh, sample data in because it's in the same file as Excel, um, same Excel file. All right, so then uh, it asks us to select first one of the sheets that's contained in that single Excel file. All the data are stored in separate sheets. As you'll see, when you open that Excel file, there are individual subfiles called sheets within the Excel file. Uh, first, we're going to read the flow data, 1912 to 2012. And in there, it's going to ask, do you want to read date or flow? Well, we're going to read flow. It'll also read the date. This may take a couple minutes, depending on how busy your computer is. Here it's going fairly fast. We have 14,350 records to read. Okay, it's read the flow data. Now we'll read the uh, sample data, which includes the TSS and flow data. Here I'll select the one from 2007 to 2012. You note that there are three sample files on here, TSS and flow 2007 to 2012, TSS and flow 2002 to 2006, and TSS 1984 to 2001. That should say TSS and flow not just TSS. So I'll select this one here and it's going to ask for a couple things. We do want to um, use the column labeled station uh, input as identifiers. So you say yes and here uh, first it wants the sample flow field which is just the flow and it wants the constituent or the TSS uh, field call it TSS. It's reading 112 observations. Um, we can call this whatever we like. Uh, call this Poplar River. And we could put in there what the station number is. But I'll leave that off for now. All right, sometimes you'll have duplicated data, maybe two samples on a single date, something like that. And uh, if that happens, then it might ask you to either exclude one of the values or to use the average. Here we'll just use the average as an option. And there's only really one value that does that uh, in this case. Sometimes you'll have many more. Uh, the, this window asks you, gives you some summary of the information that you've read in. You see there's 14,350 uh, 
values of continuous flow, there's TSS values, 113 of those, and flow values, 113 of those. You get some information here about what the uh, flow data are. Note that these units for these uh, mean and maximum flows are in million cubic meters per year, not in cubic feet per second. So Flux converts the CFS values cubic feet per second to million cubic meters per year using this conversion factor. The TSS data are given in milligrams per liter, so we need to change from microgram per liter to milligram per liter for that conversion. This is going to take all the values of TSS and multiply it by, by 1,000 to give you part per billion. After we've done that, we can say done, or click done, and uh, we'll get this summary file on here, which uh, shows the sample file and the flow file with some statistics that are given. The dates for the flow uh, samples are 2007 through 2012. The dates for the... Um, flow or 1912 to 2012. We can modify some of these by just taking a subset of these data using the uh, edit key here. You can select data to include or exclude and it's very easy to do that but for right now we'll leave that off. Do things like this. We can do a quick plot of data. You can see here the uh, flow data from 1912 through 2012 and the yellow triangle, upside down triangles are the TSS samples and you'll note of course those were taken just towards the end of that entire period of time. Uh, this is this graph we can come in and we can edit the axes. You can make these logarithmic if you wish on either axis, horizontal or vertical. You can change the titles, all kinds of things you can do with this. And then, of course, when you're done, you can save this. You can export this uh, graph to either a BMP or to a WMF format. Many other things I will be talking about in later uh, videos are uh, to be able to take your data and to stratify the data. Right now all the data, all the flow data and the sample data are all thrown together into a single pool of information. Uh, if we wanted to stratify them based on flow magnitude, we can do that. We can break up this uh, data into up to five uh, flow strata and you can either use the default values of, of strata that they give or you can impose your own uh, flow strata. You do all kinds of plots. You can calculate the loads which we'll be doing in the uh, next video. You can select which method you want to use for doing the estimation of loads. Um, you can list your data, sample data, flow data, um, you can do some units conversions and so forth. A number of different uh, options that you have. For right now what I'm going to do is to show you that we want to save this session so we don't have to start all over again with reading the data. Just say save the session. And the extension on the saving of the file is .fss. And here I'm going to save this as Poplar River underscore 2007 through 2012. That's the sample period. I still have the flow period in there for the entire period of time, 1912 to 2012. If I had only selected a portion of the flow data, then I could use another name for this to, uh, to give it more distinction. Say save. That saves the file with that FSS uh, extension on it. So if I want to come back in and I want to uh, resume a saved session, so I already have it in the computer, let's say I go on to uh, start off, I went away, had dinner, and I want to come back and start all over again uh, with the work that I'm doing. I just click save session and you'll notice here's the file where I saved it. And that brings it back in. 
So that's the end of this video.